Oh. All right. Well, it's uh, December 25th. I'm done eating and doing all my adult stuff for the day. Now it's time to go out into my studio and uh, see if I can make a mess. And I figured, heck, there's probably others out there just like me. So I might as well get on YouTube Live and uh, share what I'm doing. So I designed these. Let me just show you real quick. I'm, I'm putting, putting some finishing touches on these uh, fire hydrants that I designed in Fusion 360. And I designed these. I have this paid subscription and I really debated whether or not to get the paid subscription because gosh, it is pricey. They did have a Christmas uh, special on it where you save 20%, so it's like 400 bucks for the year. So I'm like, uh, well, you know, since I, I'm i selling these things, I figure, I mean, I have to have it. Uh, I don't know any software that's free that, that I can design this type of, you know, prop and, and then, uh, you know, and then turn around and sell it. Uh, but, so it, it is pricey. You could do a paid subscription, but it ends up being a lot more money than the just initial, you know, the purchase of a year, especially when they offer 20%. I hate coming out of pocket 500 bucks for something, but sometimes there's doesn't seem much way around it. So <laughs> here we are with fire hydrants, <laughs> you know. Um, but let me bring this up. I don't know how good the, it might be a little loud. Sorry, I have a printer going behind me. But let me bring this up uh, and show you what I've got. I built these beefy little, just little bulldog looking short fat uh, fire hydrants. And I'm really pretty happy with, uh, about these because first of all, it shows my progress in Fusion 360, which if you know that, that's a great thing. Uh, you know, um, and not only to be able to think of something, create something, then take that, slice it, and end up with something physical in your hand that you can photograph with your toys. It's just a pretty incredible process. Uh, so anyway, I said all that to say that, you know, this is uh, a fire hydrant design that I did. And one of the great things about this is um, I've got all the bolts on the top flange. I don't know how accurate that is. I don't know how many bolts are actually on a top flange, but I went with uh, six. Sounded good to me. Six uh, polygon bolts on top of the flange. Then I've got the flange with the, uh, like a flange ring in there, like a gasket. <laughs> uh, then I've got the same bolts on the bottom flange with a gasket uh, a flange ring on there also. Uh, I've got the big water line coming out and the you know smaller ones out here uh, to the side. Now, I'm not a fireman and I don't really know the the uh, names of you know or the accuracy of this but I know that there's hydrants with <laughs> three lines, two flanges and a top. That's what we built anyway. <laughs> so. Uh, and these really are beefy little, uh, they're 2.70 high from bottom flange to top of the bolt. Um, and uh, they're like 1.7 across. Uh, I could get my uh, caliper out, but um, I'm not gonna. <laughs> but uh, they look really nice next to uh, six inch figures they look really nice next to like the 112 mezco popeye which is what i'm gonna end up shooting next to one of these but anyway i just said all that to yap a little bit what i'm doing is just going through and painting the the bolts on these um uh hydrants here i just got some ink in the cap of this here and then I'm just going to go through and paint these out. You know, it's December 25th. For some people, it's Christmas. For some people, it's not. It's just another day. So whatever it is you're doing today, man, I 
hope it was a good day for you and you know hope you're doing something that uh brings a little richness to your life and happiness to your soul you know uh here i am i ate all day and well not uh, let me take that back i cooked all day and then i ate uh and you know went back and forth between the kitchen and this garage here to uh check on the 3d prints how they were going the good thing about these is well they take seven hours to print <laughs> so i had plenty of time to come back and check on them uh i changed the fep on here and i was having a little bit of issue with printing multiples of something and so uh i adjusted the fep and i think that did it because i like to be able to print four of these at a time and uh i ran into an issue where i was printing for but the one in the middle would always fail and so it wound up i believe being a tension issue on my fep that uh, i tell you that 3d printing is its own little beast uh for sure there's so many little variables in that that you can pull your hair out. <laughs> no doubt about that. Um, but it's fun when it works and, and when I can print a consistent pieces, consistent results, then I'm really, I'm happy. Uh, then, then, you know, that's, that's exciting for me because I can create cool little things like fire hydrants. I would like to make a safe. A safe would be really cool. I've been wanting to do a safe. I don't know if I want to do that out of foam or if I want to do that out of a 3D uh, resin print. I haven't decided yet which way to do it, but anyway, this design I came up with for this, I mean, it's not like I came up with the design. I looked at Google and I found some various designs that I thought were really cool and I just, you know, did them in fusion 360 but uh i did a couple designs and i really like this one here because it's more of a traditional looking there's you know and i never really paid attention but gosh there's so many different styles of fire hydrant on google who knew that there would be so many different styles and shapes of fire hydrant uh but i went with one that was easily recognizable i made another one and i'm happy with it it's a it's a cool design it's a little bit uh different of a shape um more of a thinner like a three line kind of uh hydrant and um it has you know the flanges on it and bolts and stuff too it's just a little bit different design. This one, I think, is more of a... I mean, it's more easily... You can look at it and say, oh, fire hydrant. The other one, you can look at it and say, what is that? And then, oh, yeah, fire hydrant. This one is more of an instant, you know, <laughs> recognizable fire hydrant. But, um... Let's see. Let's get these... All those bolts are in there. Got them all silver. And then once I'm done with painting these silver... I'm going to um, go through and kind of put a little black wash on on that once it's dry. I don't want a really shiny, shiny bolt and a worn kind of aged hydrant. That looks a little weird. So we'll knock it down a little bit so it looks. And I airbrushed these. I spray primered these uh, hydrants um, with a nice primer. And then I uh, airbrushed. I did a combination of airbrush. I uh, then I applied some washes, and now I'm just going through with a little paintbrush and uh, painting the little bolts. Um,
just to add these little finishing touches on there that I can't do with the airbrush. And I'll have these on my website too, uh, along with the other stuff, insightfulimagery.com, if you guys haven't been to my website. A lot of people have been going there lately. I'm looking at the analytics and... Oh, analytics. That brings up another thing. Like and subscribe to my channel. Most of my views come from unsubscribed people. Which is good, but I sure could use those subscriptions. I love the views, but I could really use the subscriptions from the views. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, thank you. But please subscribe and like the video like my video please and subscribe to my channel um that just really helps even further you know than the view um the view is nice but long term you know that algorithm really likes subscriptions and so i'd appreciate if you could remember to do that but um back to my website yeah, insightfulimagery.com uh diorama diorama prop page has uh, some props that I build and have recently started selling um, just little pieces that can help you fill out your little toy photography set and take some help take some really cool photographs it's like the fishing lure it doesn't necessarily make you a better fisherman or having these props doesn't make you a better photographer but boy it makes things look nice makes your tackle box look nice or it makes your toy photography set look nice you know so and I really like being able to come up with these little things and sharing them you know and uh, seeing other people use them that's gonna be pretty cool okay bottom flange time Bottom flange time. And I went, like I say, man, I even put the the bolts on here. Uh, and the flange rings. Pretty cool. You know, the one thing this Fusion 360 has taught me about making these props, it really helps you narrow down the most basic shape things are. Fire hydrant. It's really circles and polygon. That's, you know, circles in the shape of cylinders that are extruded out, circles that are flat. You know, this at its, at its core, you know, it's, it's just circles of various uh, heights and diameters. And, you know, and so that's one thing that's pretty cool about the the software or or the idea i guess behind the cad stuff is that it really helps you see things on their most basic level um and what was i where's where's my lid oh there's my lid uh i'm gonna get a little bit of this thinner i want to try something put a little bit in the cap here uh Just put a little bit of that in this cap and then get a brush and I need to blend a few of these little brush marks up here that I'm really not that excited about uh, and I see them better in the light now so we'll just dip this in this thinner and we'll see uh, if this is the right approach I don't want too much on there there we go just wet it a little and drag it out and Okay, there we go. Not drag it too much because it's a wash and I don't, uh, there. Okay, I just want to thin some of these edges out a little bit where I think you could use it. kind of feather it in and I stippled on here with uh, the an orange wash I stippled some
wash on here to kind of create the idea of some rust um, and uh, I did uh, I did a base coat of brown from a rattle can let that dry then I added some latex that I peeled away to reveal another top coat of red uh, and that really uh, really helped um, give it some layering let me grab this water over here that really helped give it some layering that I that I liked um, let me just do this with straight water and see if this there we go just feather that around in there a little bit out on the edges there we go I think that's going to be better Better, better, better. There we go. Some of this right down in there. We need to blend that a little bit better. There we are. I need to get my graffiti game up, man. I need to do some... Some, uh... Being able to take some little paint markers and do like little tags and stuff like that on things like this would be a really helpful, nice uh, added layer of coolness. That's a thing, right? Added layer of coolness. Um, let's knock this all down in here just a little bit. I'm just using water right here. because these are washes, so I just want to, some of these lines, I went a little crazy with it. There we go. There we are. Just blends them in a little bit. I went a little cuckoo with some of it. Sometimes it's hard to see. Just take a little water and go back in there and move some of that really light pigment around. And mm -hmm. Wow. It's just a little water. Then I can go back in with a heat gun or I can let it dry either way. Uh, I'll let it dry tonight because I'm not in that big a hurry. There we go. I think we're good with that. We can stipple. We can work on the bolts here in a minute. And uh, a little bit more of the moving around on this one. There we go. Let's break some of that black up a little bit. This is just water. Okay. Okay. We'll do this one and then we'll move on a little bit to... Break this up just a little bit on the top. Really helps having all kind of different little size brushes, and I just get these little cheap things at Walmart. These are these are great to have on hand, all various sizes and whatnot. Okay, so good with that. I've got a little black washer. You know, I might uh, might use that same brush, or I might actually use a let me put the lid on this for a spill it because. If there's a chance to spill something, I will. I sure will. Um, I could do it with the sponge, but I think I'm just going to do it with this right here. I've got some black wash here. We'll just drip a couple drops in there. No real scientific way. And I don't want it really soaking my brush. All I really want to do is, if you can see these bolts, these would be the bolts that take the cap off of uh, the hydrant to access the water lines then. That's all these are. They just look a little shiny, so we're just going to take a little bit of watered, really watered down black and just lightly go around. And that looks a little bit dark now, but when it dries, it's going to be 
quite a bit lighter and it's just going to kind of break up the shine of the of that cap uh, of that those bolts and they're small things but it bugs me that they're really that the gray is really that shiny um so i need to knock it down just a little bit and uh same on the bottom just a little bit you don't have to cover the whole bolt but i just want to get a little little black on there a little watered down black there we go Fine to me. Okay. Go in there and knock it back just a little bit. Okay, we'll set this rascal right there. And we'll let that dry and we'll come back to it in a minute. Uh, same thing. I still got some water on my brush. We'll just go ahead and knock it around the bolt here a little bit. Man, the details on these came out really nice. I'm thinking about adding some chain to it, but I don't know how well that'd ship and last in a box. Uh, but it would look cool, man. Some little chains. Man, you know what? I might put some little chains on here. I think I've got some chain that would work. Uh, it's black chain. Um, I would have to maybe paint it. But uh, I think it would work. We'll see what I do. We'll see how ambitious I am tonight. <laughs> After a day of cooking, I made beef stew, and uh, my wife made tamales. Ooh, delicious. And I made, we have Meyer lemons and a blood orange tree in my front yard. So I took fruit off of those trees and created lemon bars and an orange bar. Uh, <laughs> that uh really man really was came out really tasty those things were really good knock some of this down just a little bit some of this orange there we go some of this orange is a little prominent there we go just knock it down with some of this wash just a little bit and then uh yeah, man, we're looking good. We're doing this. It's looking good. I'm really liking this. Blend some of this black up here. I didn't quite blend enough. There we go. Okay. A little bit in there. This one here I'm going to keep. It's one that I actually... The print gave me a rough time when I went to print it and so it's a little dinged up from some failed supports but it'll it'll photograph nicely and so I'm going to end up keeping it uh, for myself but we'll put a little bit of this knock it down on the towel a little bit dab it on up here just to knock some of this really bright orange down there we go you know, it's really tough making something look crappy on purpose. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned, man. But I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing all right. Okay. Man, these are looking super cool. This one spot right here is really going to bother me, though. I don't know what I was thinking on that spot. Maybe I can get this in there and move it around a little bit. There it goes. I think it's starting to move around and kind of diminish, diminish in its appearance. There we go. I think that'll work. Okay, cool. And these are looking really good, though. Let me shove these rascals in here. <clears throat> See uh, what we got going on. All right, super cool, man. Super cool. See how well the GoPro picks these up.
Really happy with these, man. These are really cool. <laughs> Great looking fire hydrants. I think uh, I might take. I always have, always have some last minute thing I want to do. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, I like to break up some of this in here just a little bit. So we'll just take some of this black wash that I've got on here. Just add some contrasting little spots in here to to help break that up a little bit so it's not a big patch of orange uh, that it's got some broken up light and dark patterns in that and that's going to help make it look better and it's just something I saw right now in the in the uh, in the light I think that's going to look better when that dries it's going to it's going to help it out let's do the back of this a little bit and this is just a black wash. Stipple that in there with the brush tip. There we go. All right, I think we'll be good. Let that dry. Bloop. And uh, We're gonna be good. Let's take a look here and see. Hit it with this. Oh, I unplugged my my heat gun. That's right, so I can plug my camera in. Smooth that out just a little bit. There we go, baby. I like that. Nice. Super nice. Just with some plain water. Spread that pigment around just a little bit. Ah, it looks really good, though. I like it. I like it. Just moving the pigment around just a little bit on there. With some clear water. Okay. Leave it alone now, man. Leave it alone. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I think we're good. We got three really cool looking fire hydrants here. What my, the last step that I'm going to do with these is uh, I'll seal them with a with an aerosol spray, a matte spray. I don't want them shiny. Uh, I don't I don't like the way they look shiny. Uh, I could dry brush some some highlights in there uh, also before I do it. Um, but man, the, I mean these I I really like the way these look. These just really like them I think they came out really well and uh, let me get a little figure here and show you with my dirty gloves so let's see two figures here I've got a Jesse Pinkman and he looks good next to the hydrant. If you look at fire hydrants, they generally come up to about your waist uh, on the ones, you know, I've searched up on Google. They come up about waist high. <laughs> and these are just really cool. Little chunky little things. 
Uh, so if I just bring one over here to the side of Mr. Pinkman, then we can see that uh, it's just about at the top bolt there, just about waist high. It's 2.70 inches tall. Uh, so it works nicely with a figure like Mr. Pinkman. And also, if I take Jesse out of the way, he's got something to go do in a motorhome somewhere. And then we put Mr. in here. Did I really just make that stupid sound? I did. <laughs> so if we just rest his try to get him to stand up somehow here spin him around and even though Popeye's hunched over it still works with Popeye and it would also let me grab Mr. Voorhees out of here and take a look and see how this works with Mr. Voorhees Mr. Voorhees isn't even going to fit in the whole camera, I imagine. Okay. I don't want to tell you what to do, Jason, but we're going to have to... We're going to have to get stable. Well, he's got a mind of his own. But there we go. Works for Jason, too, man. You know. Really cool. I, uh... And I'll have these up here on my website. I'll take the photos of them this evening and get those. I want to see something real quick. I've got some chain. I don't know um, if that chain will, will work. Let me move all my clutter out of the way. It may work. For this, I'm going to end up needing to... Oh no, this will, this will work great. Once I find the end of it. <laughs> Let's see, where's the end of my chain? <laughs> well, okay. It's right there. Uh, I've got some needle nose in here. Let me grab some needle nose pliers. Uh, I think I still have some in my... As I took them out to my toolbox, I don't recall. I've got regular pliers. We'll work with regular pliers for now. Um, I do, uh, I took the needle nose outside. This chain is, it's about right. Uh, let's take a little piece off just to, just to have some fun. Now this chain I've had for a while. I bought it for something else. I bought it for a door that I had built. And it needed some chain in a warehouse. A Texas Chainsaw Massacre warehouse scene that I did. And I think when you see these, they go they go like like that. I could uh dab a little bit of crazy glue on there or something that might be I'll have to google and see but yeah I think the chains do let me see I got crazy glue <laughs> totally unprepared got crazy glue right here I think there's some in there let me see what else I think I have another little container of this uh, possibly I do have, um, I've got some five minute epoxy that would work. I don't want it too visible because it's going to, I really shouldn't put this in my paint booth, but, but my camera's set up here. So, hopefully I've got a little, where's the one that I messed up the print on? This one here. Let's see if I've got any little bit of glue left in here. Cut the cut the tip off here. I need to like a little bit. There we go. 
know. I have another bottle of this. I'm not quite sure where it is, but... Let it set on here. Let that sit on there. Maybe. See what this does. Would be better if I drilled the hole into the resin and then put the chain coming out of it. It would involve a little bit more work, but on this small of a prop, I don't know that it's that big of a deal, but Let that dry for a second longer. I mean, I didn't plan on doing this. <laughs> Certainly didn't want to do it in my paint booth with Popeye down here and with dirty paint dust. <laughs> I'm so messy and unorganized and sloppy. But. I think this will work. You know what? That chain is kind of cool down in there too, man. I like that. But. I think if we take we take and put the chain right here, it would look pretty nice. Should I make it shorter or I don't know what do you yeah. I think it probably should be a little shorter. Should have done a better job measuring that before I put it on, but Sometimes my last minute ideas are I've got neat on those pliers, but I'm just too uh, lazy to go get them. cheat. I'll grab it with this and then I'll maybe I'll bend it with this. Or maybe not. There we go. Okay. Now I'll glue this on because it's a little bit shorter. Take that out. There we go. All right. Crazy glue, come back to me. I'll put a little dab on here. There we go. And get that on there before it dries. That would be good. Maybe. Get on there. It's a fighter. Well, that wasn't thought out entirely well.
I don't want to glue it to my tweezer. Got a little chain on there. All right. Move this back out of the way. Anyway, well, okay. I think we're good for the night. Looks good. I can always go in there and brush that with a little metallic silver that I have, and then brush over the crazy glue with the little bit of gray. But you can't really tell there's crazy glue on there anyway. It's a little shiny. Actually, you can. It's a little shiny. I'll end up uh, maybe dry brushing over that or something just to get some of the shine down. And anyway, cool. I think we're good, man. I tell me what you think. Do you like it with the chain or without the chain? What do you? What are your thoughts? There they are. And uh, heck, we're we're done. I hope you folks had a good night. Uh, thanks for joining me and watching and keeping me company while I uh, sit out here in my garage this uh, Christmas night <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to go get some coffee you guys and gals take care like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram Facebook, TikTok uh, website insightfulimagery.com check out, I sell these on that uh, page insightfulimagery.com under the diorama pro 